Hello, my name is Z-Voice, and I'll be reading poetry to you. The first poem is Touched by an Angel by Maya Angelou. We, unaccustomed to courage, exiles from delight, live coiled in shells of loneliness until love leaves its high holy temple and comes into our sight to liberate us into life. Love arrives, and in its train comes ecstasies, old memories of pleasure, ancient histories of pain. Yet, if we are bold, love strikes away the chains of fear from our souls. We are weaned from our timidity. In the flush of love's light, we dare be brave, and suddenly we see that love costs all we were and will ever be, yet it is only love which sets us free. The second poem is Mother to Son by Langston Hughes. Well, son, I tell you, life for me ain't been no crystal stair. It's had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor, bare. But all the time, I've been a climbing on and reaching landings and turning corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light. So boy, don't you turn back. Don't you sit down on the steps cause you finds it's kinder hard. Don't you fall now for I still going, honey. I still climbing and life for me ain't been no crystal stair. The third is a sonnet called Sonnet Three by William Shakespeare. Look in thy glass and tell the face thou viewest. Now is the time that face should form another. Whose fresh repair if now thou not renewest? Thou dost beguile the world, unbless some mother. For where is she so fair whose aneared womb disdains the tillage of thy husbandry? Or who is he so fond will be the tomb of his self-love to stop posterity? Thou art thy mother's glass, and she in thee calls back the lovely April of her prime. So thou, through windows of thine age, shall see, despite of wrinkles, this thy golden time. But if thou live, remember not to be, die single, and thine image dies with thee. The fourth sonnet is called Sonnet 33 from William Shakespeare. Full many a glorious morning have I seen, flatter the mountain tops with sovereign eye, kissing with golden face the meadows green, gliding pale streams with heavenly alchemy, anon permit the basest clouds to ride with ugly rack on his celestial face and from the forlorn world his visage hide, stealing unseen to west with this disgrace. Even so my son one early morn did shine, with all triumphant splendor on my brow, but out, alack, he was but one hour mine. The region cloud hath masked him from me now, yet him for this my love no with disdaineth. Sons of the world may stain when heaven's sun staineth. The fifth and final poem is called There Will Come Soft Rains by Sarah Teasdale. War time. There will come soft rains and the smell on the ground and swallows circling with their shimmering sound and frogs in the pools singing at night and wild plum trees in tremulous white. Robins will wear their feathery fire, whistling their whims on a low fence wire, and not one will know of the war, not one will care at last when it is done, not one would mind, neither bird nor tree, if mankind perished utterly, and spring herself, when she woke at dawn, would scarcely know that we were gone.